Uh, John Keir, it's the K2 Yorkshire Cup final on Sunday. You're going back to one of your old stumping grounds, Mount Pleasant, and the Batley Bulldogs and Matt Diskin laying where? Yeah, then it'll be a heck of a challenge, I'll tell you. I, uh, I watched uh, Batley, obviously, prior to our game against Halifax. I watched them play Hunslet, and they put Hunslet to the sort, 36-0, and I was very impressed with them. And then I've had a look at them playing against York, and... Uh, it really was a game of two halves with the slope and the wind, but uh, they came out on top and deservedly so. So we know full well that it's going to be a heck of a challenge. And I know full well the, the foible, shall we say, of, of Mount Pleasant, or Fox's Biscuit Stadium, as it's called now. So uh, we'll have to be ready, uh, ready to play not only the, the slope and the elements, but also a very good uh, opposition team in Batley Bulldogs. This is going to be pre-season game number five, John. Um, obviously, Callum Bustin uh, injured himself against uh, the Dewsbury Rams. How's the squad currently holding up? Oh, we're holding up OK. Yeah, I mean, Callum obviously picked up an injury, but it's not as bad as we, uh, we first thought. There's no break. Uh, he has got ligament damage, but it's, uh, it's a four to six week job, which is obviously a, a bonus ball for us. Uh, but the other big thing, from our point of view, is obviously Steve Crossley should make his, uh, his season debut this uh, coming weekend. Uh, he, he did a fitness test on Tuesday uh, and he really walloped people with his shoulder and got walloped by others as well. So his contact was first class. So we don't see, after consulting with the medical staff, we don't see any problem about him playing this week for 20, 30 minutes and then obviously a few more minutes against Toronto, all in preparation for the, the first game of the season against Featherston. Having Steve Crossley back with the injury to Callum Bustin, uh, a massive uh, boost for you John this weekend. It is, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, Steve's a good player, uh, but it's not just what he does as a player, uh, for me it's more important what he does as a leader and uh, I like Steve as a le leader, Steve doesn't lead by verbally. Steve leads by what he does, his actions. He leads by actions and they're the best type of leaders because they say, I'm going to do this, you'll follow me. And that's exactly what he does. So, yeah, it, it's a big boost, but it's, it's all in preparation for Featherson. But having said that, we still want to win, as indicated last in the semi-final when we went for two points to, to cleanse the victory against Dewsbury. These Yorkshire Cup games, John, they, they, uh, I've added uh, an extra dimension to the normal pre-season fixture very much so they've added a, an element of competition there's no doubt about that you know and i like the fact that as well that it's 13 players plus just seven interchange uh, interchange bends because you're not putting two separate teams out uh, so you don't lose the shape of the game really so i i just think it's been a great concept it's been a great success uh, I hope it goes on next year. Next year, obviously, we'll be able to schedule it so that we're not playing as many games as we did this year pre-season. But uh, we've got on with it, we've handled it, we've done it pretty well. And should we win on, on, on Sunday and perform well, I'll be delighted. And then it's just one game before we, we start in anger. In terms of your team selection for Sunday, John, obviously a lot of players have impressed you in the pre-season. Is it going to be a place for Rowan Milnes on Sunday? There's every likelihood Rowan will feature in the 20-man squad, yeah, uh, because Rowan's been good. Uh, I mean, defensively, he's been absolutely outstanding. Uh, and, I, you know, I, I look at that as well uh, for our pivotal players. It's not just about playing the, uh, the pretty, pretty passing stuff and the stuff that makes sort of fans sit back in the seats. You've also got to roll your sleeves up, get your elbows and knees dirty and do some hard work in defence. And I would say Rowan's been our best defensive pivot. So, you know, he certainly will be in and amongst the 20-man squad and he's, he's earned that as well because not only has he defended well, he's created well, he's kicked well. So he's done everything that you'd expect of it. And it, it really is causing me some good problems. And there's not just Rowan, there's obviously Mary Stott and Keelan Foster, Eben Skur, who's had a, a, a bit of a telling contribution weekend gone, the six minutes against Dewsbury, and then uh, more of the same against Huddersfield on Sunday. Yeah, Eben was really good, and I thought Keelan was better uh, from his, his first game on, on Boxing Day. Uh, and, uh, and as you rightly say, Matty Stott, and I, I don't look at Matty now as somebody emerging. I'm Really, I'm looking upon him more and more as if he's, he's, he's established, but... I'm going to have to be careful. He's played the most minutes of anybody in our squad. So I'm going to be careful with how much I put him on the field, both in this game and against Toronto, because uh, 
I want Matty Stoughton ready, uh, ready to play. And we've had our target minutes for each player, and there's only Matty really who, who we're, we're really worried about exceeding that. So that may well be reflected in selection on Sunday as well as selection for the following Friday against Toronto. Obviously, that's something that yourself and the backroom staff have got to talk about. Pretty much a similar situation to when Jack Walker first come on the scene, John, because there is the chance you couldn't overplay him and burn him out. There is that, yeah, but obviously pre-season games, you know, they're there for a purpose. And we, we, we set a, a line, a maximum line about people playing uh, minutes. And it's, it wasn't, it isn't appearance, it's more about the minutes that they're on the field. And we've monitored that and really there's only Matty that I'm concerned about. So, uh, you know, it, it'll be in the 20-man squad this week. Uh, whether he starts, whether he's on the bench, we haven't finally decided yet. But I'll certainly be monitoring his minutes and he won't play against Toronto because, as I say, we're going to look after him so that he's ready to play should he be required against Featherston. What would you say the standout positive has been so far from this pre-season, John? I think there's been lots of them, to tell you the truth. Uh, the one I've, I've liked about us is that we've won the games differently. Uh, each game's been different and what we've, sh we've shown in every game, including the Huddersfield game, we've shown some character and we we've shown the fact that we won't give in and, and that's a massive thing for me. But you also look at other things about combinations and systems, structures and organisation and they've been coming along well. So we've, we feel as if we're in a good place and obviously should we play well on Sunday, we'll feel we're in an even better place. But everything's designed, we'd love to win on Sunday, but everything is designed for Featherston in round one. Just going back to Sunday, John, obviously the final 15 minutes, it was a chance to have a, a real glimpse of the future. Obviously Sam Ellis and Lily were out there, but I think that final 10 minutes, it was a complete under-19s academy side. They only conceded six points and defended well. They did. They did real good. I, I was delighted with them, to tell you the truth. You know, you, you have a bit of trepidation at first when you're throwing... Not, not an individual youngster out there, but you, you have a bit of trepidation when you put them out on block. And that's what we did, but you know, I'd no need to have that because they rolled the sleeves up, they were hard working, they were tough, they had a great attitude and they played some good rugby both offensively and defensively. So I was really happy with them. So I think the future looks good, but there's also an immediacy as well in the first of all a Sunday, but secondly, the start of the championship season and we need to look after that as well. And this next two games, John, this five days apart, uh, a chance to prepare you for what the season, the championship season is going to throw at you with those short turnarounds? Very much so, yeah, and, and also the fact, you know, we're playing probably the favourites for the competition, aren't we, on the, on the Friday, so that'll be a heck of a test. But again, although we're, we are considering the opposition, we're considering ourselves first and foremost. As I mentioned about time on the field and we're monitoring minutes, it's more about us getting ready for Featherson rather than worrying about what the opposition are going to throw at us. We'll worry about that when it's, there's two points at stake in the regular season. Just going back to leadership, John, obviously the captaincy for 2019 has not been announced yet. Uh, how, close are we to, how close are you to announcing that and making a decision? I've announced it to the players, so uh, I don't know whether the club want me to announce it, but the, the players certainly know who's leading them and they also know who's vice-captain. So. The decision's been made and, uh, you know, should the club want me to announce that, I'll do that. Thank you very much, Sean. All the best for Sunday. Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers.